blessed are you, O Lord our God, who reigns over all the universe in love, who led Sarah and Abraham and their children in hope, who freed the enslaved children of Israel from Pharaoh's Egypt, who fed your people with manna in the wilderness and the words of the prophets, who went into exile with your beloved people and brought them home, who came among us in the human life of Jesus, who broke the power of sin and death by dying on the empire's cross, who has gathered us by your Spirit's pull from all nations and languages, who leads us onward and feeds us still, whose love brings resurrection and renews all creation. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you. Psalm 126 When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoice. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy carrying their sheaves. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from Romans. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. praise, our thanks, our deepest selves, in all the places your beloved world hurts. Heal the disease in our bodies, 
and in our hearts as well. Where we are coldly indifferent, hold us in the fire of your love. Where hatred infects us, remove its poison. Where we are bent in on self, turn us outward to you and our neighbor. Where we are dead inside, call us back to life. That we might be your wounded hands and feet, raised up for your work to make all things new. God, whose love embraces all the world, who loved us when we were far off, estranged, and enemies of yours, come and be our help. We struggle to love others. We have been hurt and wounded. We are upset at those who have harmed us, at those we care about. We struggle with bitterness inside our hearts, and we wrestle with how your justice and mercy can meet in all this mess. Help us, help me, a child of yours, whom your love still seeks and claims when I am turned away from you, to seek good for all people, even those I most struggle with, those I have trouble accepting, and those I fail to love. I pray not for their victory over me or mine over them, but for you to win over us all, for your will to be done in and through and among us leading us into that promised day when lambs and wolves lie down together, weapons are beaten into plowshares, and bitter enemies can be reconciled in your fierce, relentless love. Son and to the Spirit, one Lord. 
to you.